And in just three days, Anna Hazare's fight has now been joined by millions of Indians. The fight has now become one of the people versus corruption, as thousands of Indians came together in various places to show solidarity with Anna and to tell the government that its silence is not acceptable anymore, that corruption is not acceptable. Well, uh, he's fighting for a reason. I feel uh, the reason is very important. And I, and I personally also feel, being uh, a student, that... Uh, the anti-corruption bill should be passed in the parliament as soon as possible. Somebody has to take the initiative. If the government doesn't take it, who, who else will take it? So something will help definitely. We say like drop by drop makes a sea. That way if some, somebody comes in, maybe other person joins in. That way it, it will help. Until and unless someone takes an initiative, nothing can be done about it. So if somebody is doing something like that, it's great. It is actually good because then we also have someone to look up to and follow. The generation that we have now, we cannot just go out there and, you know, protest against it. If we have someone like that in front of us, whom we can follow, we'll definitely... The government is silent and you know, the more it prolong, prolongs the thing, you know, people are, you know, losing their money. The my, scare, scare minds and all, the precious resources, everything they are looting. I mean, this is high time. This, there's, there's no time to sit and relax and then, okay, we'll start a committee, we'll discuss. This, not, this is not going to happen. And whatever thing needs to happen, it has to happen right now. If the government doesn't do this, the younger generation of this country, the conscientious people of this country must come forward, must come out of their slumber and raise their voice in whatever form they, they, they can. Because the politicians have failed the nation, the bureaucracy have failed the nation, Politics have become big business today. The mafia, the corporate mafia, the contractor mafia, the real estate mafia, they have taken over this country. Now this younger generation has to, in the, in the larger interest of the country and their own future, they must come forward. The kind of scams that we have seen are absolutely un unacceptable. And, and what Anna Hazari is asking is, is really very simple. He's asking for a fair, fair committee to look into the act. And, uh, and the government saying that why, why do you not have uh, trust in us? Yes, we do not. The reason is that this act has taken 42 years to, to at least come to this stage, at least when it becomes a public talk. Right? It has not been, multiple governments have tried, no, no government has been able to pass. So, so having a good act is important, having a bad act is, is worse than not having the act. So it's important that a, fo a, a solid committee is formed with civil society representatives. It's been 40 years, so you know the first concern that, that comes is that they're going to postpone it more. And when people are saying that we want strong anti-corruption laws, it is evident that we want strong anti-corruption laws. It means that the existing system is not able to curb uh, corruption, which only means that we need a newer system. And when people are saying that they want strong anti-corruption laws, and the government is saying they don't want strong anti-corruption laws, it only goes on to prove that the government is also corrupt and is just getting scared. It is only a political, ba political blame game and uh, it's just to uh, um, uh, drive away the force that is uh, the, the drive away the force of Dana Hazare's past. This is not at all acceptable, and it has been 42 years now. Say, uh, repeating the same thing again and again. That we are looking into it, and there is no more time. We, the time has come. It has to be passed. We want Jan Lokpal. That's it. If we can't end the corruption now, we don't have the future. This is the time, and. Uh, Yes, I agree that this is the second freedom fight, fight and every Indian has to participate in this. We, the Youth for Better India at Hyderabad, has observed one, one day fast yesterday and we are going to take the moment forward by having more uh, observing tom tomorrow or in, on Friday with the fast continuing. And uh, we will continue this moment forward and we hope every Indian will participate in this moment and uh, support Anna Hazare. We want Jan Lekpal Berita. And eminent jurists too have voiced the support for the movement, hailing the movement of the youth. Movement is supported by people of all race, uh, ideology, and particularly by the young, which actually really brings to the fore the mounting revulsion people used to feel against corruption, just not being checked, not being abated but flourishing and that's the main thing i'm very happy that the youth are in it and also there has been no question of any race religion caste creed in the matter i think anna Saib has done a great service to the nation by 
making the people, uh, the powers that be realize that the Lokpal bill cannot wait any longer. I salute Anna Hazare for uh, having uh, given direction to the revulsion and disgust this nation is feeling. I hang my head in shame because I have said this publicly before. Our generation has failed this country. It's this youth which has risen in support of Anna Hazare because they will not tolerate this kind of a government anymore. And I think this movement has now picked up a kind of a support which the government can't ride roughshod over. I fully support uh, Anna Hazare's uh, campaign against corruption. And uh, I think it's high time that we got together and uh, asked for it because uh, there's a limit to corruption. There's a limit for us to uh, deal with it. There's a limit to tolerance. There's a limit to, uh, as they say, andhadund bhrashtachar. I think, uh, uh, you know, we had to start sometime, but uh, in the past one year, there is a lot that we've seen, a lot that, uh, that has been exposed, a lot that is coming to, uh, you know, the media has done a good job by, by uh, you know, highlighting, uh, you know, certain issues. Uh, so, anything for the better is, is good. And uh, I hope this change comes about. अली अन्ना जा रहे बैठे हैं उनको सपोर्ट करना चाहिए पूरे देश को बैठना चाहिए। तो ऑल को आउट ऑन स्ट्रीट एंड जॉइन अन्ना जा रहे हैं एंड जैसा एग्रो में रिवॉल्यूशन क्या वैसे करना चाहिए जो जिससे स्कैम हो रहे हैं पॉलिटिशियंस को उतार के नीचे रखना चाहिए। इस इट टाइम फॉर रिवॉल्यूशन that road in Delhi. Whenever there is some sense in a person, one has to stop and listen to it and follow the leader. This time, the elections and on the political menu, corruption has to be something that needs to be there and I think particularly at a time with Anna Hazare and with his credentials and with his relentless fight against corruption I suppose this is turning out to be a very momentous moment or rather a very momentous period uh, in the history of this country. Anna Hazare is the sole beacon of hope in an ocean of corruption and I'm just so overwhelmed and delighted and reassured that the young of India are backing him the way they're backing him and they're using all the new media to spread this message not just across India but globally and I feel like telling them don't give up your don't give up your anger don't give up your frustration don't give up hope and lage raho but this mass movement is not just restricted to India alone as Indians from abroad as well are lending their voice to Anna Hazare's fight Times Now brings you reactions of Indians who are keeping track of what's happening back home and want to join this fight against corruption. You can write an essay or on the different kinds of corruptions going on in our country. So I think it's very important that uh, we have a separate independent body who doesn't get influenced by uh, the, uh, the government or the people in power, but who has independence like we have... Uh, I would say research and analysis wing or the election commissioner. Uh, these people uh, work separately, independently, independently. At times they only report to the president or the prime minister, but they are pretty much independent. So it will be a good uh, step forward to at least instill a feeling of uh, fear of uh, in the minds of anyone who thinks that he's free to commit any crime or commit any kind of uh, corruption and the corruption in India has to stop, has been going on for too long. And now with the growing economy, the amount gets bigger. So it's good that Anna Hazare has got into this movement and uh, he is driving it for many years. And hopefully he will come to a successful conclusion where uh, the speaker or the politicians are not involved in reviewing themselves, but an independent body does that. Um, that is something which will ensure that um, it stays free from uh, interference as well as it remains objective. <laughs>